The Waking of the Vodyanoi Asterisk In the heart of the Nizhny Novgorod region, where the Volga River wound like a serpent through the treetops, lay a decrepit village named Bolshoi. For generations, the villagers whispered tales of a creature that dwelled in the depths of the river, the Vodyanoi. With the face of an old man, skin glistening like river mud, and eyes as deep as the waters themselves, the creature was said to lure unsuspecting intruders to their doom. But over time, like all legends, the tales faded into mere stories exchanged over flickering hearth fires. It wasn't until the autumn of 1978 that the legend began to unravel. A team of enthusiastic folklore researchers came to Bolshoi, eager to document the remaining stories before they too evaporated into history. Among them was Alexei, a deep-sea diver with an insatiable curiosity for the supernatural. The locals were hesitant to speak of the Vodianoi, brushing off Alexei's questions with nervous laughter. Yet, the promise of adventure tugged at him. The villagers warned him against swimming in the Volga, speaking in hushed tones about how the river would pull you in and refuse to let go. Ignoring their fears, Alexei donned his diving gear one misty morning, the water crashing softly around him as he made his descent. Surrounded by the cool embrace of the river, he couldn't shake the feeling of eyes watching him from the dark. As he explored the murky depths, a shimmering object caught his eye. Curiosity peaked, he swam closer, discovering an ornate mirror, its frame encrusted with barnacles and deceiving glimmers of silver. Cautiously, he lifted it from the riverbed, and as he gazed into its depths, a jolt of terror shot through him. Instead of his own reflection, he saw the Vodinoi, ancient and twisted, eyes hollow but brimming with a malignant vitality. Suddenly, a roar echoed above him, not from the water, but resonating through time itself. In that moment, Alexei felt the water around him begin to pulse, as if the river were alive and aware of its surroundings. Panic surged within him as the water around him surged violently, pushing him to the surface. Gasping for breath, he stumbled onto the bank, eyes wide and frantic. He flung the mirror onto the grass, where its reflective surface shimmered, and for just a moment, the twinkle of the Vodinoi returned, appearing almost playful as he reached through the glass. It was then that Alexei realized, he had unearthed the very essence of the creature, and now it was free. That night, the village was consumed by a strange stillness under the light of a crescent moon. People felt a creeping disquiet settling like a chill on their bones. They hovered around their fires, uneasily laughing off their fears, but deep down, the tales of old resurfaced, the tales of villagers going missing, of strange songs drifting through the mist, and a shiver down their spines when they passed the river. Hours later, a shrill scream shattered the silence. The villagers rushed to the source, a frantic woman, tattered and wide-eyed, claimed she had seen the Vodianoi rise from the depths, luring her husband in the pale light. They laughed at her terror at first, dismissing her cries as nightmares. But when one by one they began to disappear, rumors spiraled through Bolshoi like a plague. Children would venture close to the river to play, only to be pulled back by shadows lurking just beneath the gentle waves. Desperation settled over the village, and they turned to Alexei, the outsider who woke the monster. The villagers gathered around, voices raised in anger and fear. It was then that Alexei revealed the mirror, which glimmered sinisterly by the fire. He had tried to bury it, but the Vodianoi's spirit trapped inside was restless. The creature had claimed his very soul, and he felt the pull of the river as strongly as any villager. With nightfall tightening around them like a noose, they devised a plan to trap the Vodianoi and return him to the depths. Armed with nets and lanterns, they gathered near the riverbank, echoing chants of old folklore. But the river had come alive, churning angrily, and as they cast their nets, the once docile waters erupted in an unnatural fury. From the swirling tidal waves, the Vodianoi breached with an otherworldly howl, its form rising like a twisted nightmare. The villagers screamed and ran, but Alexei remained. He felt drawn to the mirror, knowing it was both the key and the curse. As the creature leaned forward, drawing the last of its victims from the edge of the world, Alexei smashed the mirror against the rocks. The shattering glass sent a shockwave through the air, reverberating as the Vodianoi unleashed a blood-curdling wail. In an instant, the waters quieted. The Vodianoi's form twisted, its features melting into the darkness as the river calmed. The village lay in eerie silence, with only the rippling of the ripples left to echo the horror of the night. 
Though the creature was banished, the price was steep. Bolshoi was left cursed, a village never spoken of again, lost to whispers of history. Even the bravest souls wouldn't dare venture near the Volga's shore, for the legend of the Vodianoi would forever linger, a cautionary tale of the night when a creature brewed to life, and the man who foolishly peered into its depths.